Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Kona Chanel and I'm back, but clearly I'm back with a story time. So this story time is going to be on the worst sugar daddy date I ever had. It's just a fraudulent story time. Fraud! If you don't know a scam. Um, I think it has to be told. I think it has to be told. Um, Finesse family, if y'all ready to hear this story, like, please fasten your seatbelt, sit down, be seated, have some popcorn, some wine, Patron, apple cider if you're under 21. Um, and yeah, and if you're new to my channel, go ahead, like, comment, and subscribe, hit the notification bell below because it's lit. I promise you it's lit, I promise you it's lit. So yeah, you guys, you guys have to hear this story time, like, oh my god. Met this sugar daddy off of Seeking Arrangement. Um, this was years ago when Secret Arrangement was popping and it was like just getting out of the whole uh, sugar, Seeking Sugar era. It was, you know, I, I, no, no shade to Seeking. Seeking's still doing his thing, but back then, you know, it was way better. And um, yeah, so he was like cool. He was like an older gentleman, of course. Um, and he immediately started talking about an allowance. So I immediately was like, this is a scam. If I don't know a scam then I, I just don't know a scam, but it was a scam, right? Okay, cool. So we know that it's a scam. We're on the same page. I really thought that he was had a good sense of humor, which is great because I have a great sense of humor. Um, So when we were like communicating, I didn't think like, okay, this is sketch. Like, let me tell you guys, if I saw red flags, I would say something. I would say, hey, y'all, it was red flags from the beginning. No, he was cool. His bio was long and boring, like most of them are or whatever, right? So we ended up meeting at the Cheesecake Factory, which was one of my spots back in the day, y'all. I just love the Cheesecake Factory. Um, their macaroni balls, <clears throat> their um, artichoke dip, um, their bean burger, or was that the turkey burger? No, it was the bean burger, so good. Um, their Cobb salad is really yummy. Um, the cheesecake is mediocre. Um, but also the state Diane, I don't know if that was always there, but that was like literally one of my favorites. I used to just go, okay, you know what? Back to the story. Anyway, so we met at the Cheesecake Factory and he was like, you know, I, I, I told him I wanted to meet Fee or him to bring a gift because I just wanted to make sure that he was a legit sugar daddy. And I say I meet Fee because um, I'm a sugar baby. Hello, I look like one. Just because you're old does not mean you're a sugar daddy. So I need you to prove to me that you are by giving me a meet Fee. So he linked up. It was very fun. Um, he had a great sense of humor. He ended up bringing me a meet Fee, which was um, a, good, a good amount. Um, and we ended up exchanging um because all of this was off the app i never gave him my number yeah so we ended up changing numbers and at that time i had two phones so i ended up giving him my second phone number or whatever and he was like you know i want to meet up again but you know i kind of want to do something different i kind of want to do something more fun let's go to six flags so i was like oh okay like i love six flags i love roller coasters or whatever i'm like still a meet fee because we haven't talked about allowance so i let him know that like it's Still a fee on site. <laughs> you feel me? On site. You feel me? Oh, whoa. <laughs> the whoa wasn't even out back then, but I'm probably sure I was like, whoa, slow down, cowboy. Still a me fee. Um, so he was like, okay, cool. Is it the same amount? Told him the same amount, same me fee. And he ended up bringing it, but this time, instead of having it in an envelope, I don't know if I told you guys he had an envelope, this time he just had it like bundled up. And he just like, you know, handed it to me. And I'm like, okay you know it was like crumbled up y'all so i went to the bathroom and like i opened it up I'm like okay it's the right amount whatever like i don't know why he's whatever like that so i ended up the experience was fun it was a ball I actually ended up seeing somebody that i knew there and they were like hey girl i see you doing your thing and i was like nothing but a chicken wang and um yeah we had fun or whatever um and i think that when you are out and you are a black girl or any any other race, any other from the other that you are, you're gonna get like looks and stares or whatever. Um, and at Six Flags, it was it was a little different because there Six Flags is like a melting pot for all these families to come. So I think that it we kind of um was camouflaged. So it's not as like when we went to restaurants and stuff like that. Um, and then again, also he uh, was very like incognito. Like I like that about him. He wasn't all uh, like 
he had a very humorous personality, but he wasn't like all like trying to be like everywhere doing everything. Like he just wanted to do certain things and went about of business. And we have like so much fun, you guys. Um, so I was like, why don't I, and you know, initiate the allowance because I just cannot deal with this. So I sent him, you know, a text message and it wasn't about the allowance. It was just about, you know, us meeting up for coffee. And this time I was not going to charge him a me fee or whatever. Right. Um, and he insisted on bringing a me fee. So I'm like, okay, well, we winner, winner, chicken dinner. Like, you know what I'm saying? This is the one. Ding, 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 ding. You are the one. The survey says this is a sugar daddy. Okay, please. Um, so he ends up, <laughs> he ends up bringing me, um, a me fee. We had coffee and we wanted to like, you know, well, I wanted to like discuss allowance and he really wasn't trying to talk about it you know he was skipping over everything he was asking me my family asking me like why you know i moved to texas everything that he should have asked on the first date or on the app or just don't ask me no more because i'm already over it and i'm about to tell you like, blah, 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 blah. like what so i just want to tell you guys that when you are sugaring or if you're just dating just be cautious because there are the con artists and the swindlers because we are not we're, I'm sorry, we're not. No matter what game I'm teaching on YouTube or, or telling y'all on YouTube, like in real life, in real life, like we are not the true finessers. They are. Because the way that this was all set up, the way that this was, like it was just like. So we didn't, we, um oh, so afterwards we ended up going to the mall. I did not end up getting anything. He did not end up offering to buy me anything. He gave me a me fee. So was I upset about it or not getting nothing from the mall? Nothing. We were just window shopping, which was kind of poor, but it, you know, he already had gave me a me fee. So I know he wanted, you know, a good hour of spending time with me. And then he was just kept asking me questions and stuff like that. Right. So time goes by. I do not talk to this man for weeks. Like I'm telling you weeks. I went back home to california came back was on my grind you know working all the other stuff whatever did not hear from him then all of a sudden i get a phone call and it's him and i actually sent the um call to um voicemail because i know that he will leave a voicemail because when he's called before he has left long voicemails so he ended up leaving a voicemail saying that you know he wanted to meet um me tonight for dinner and i was like that's too short of a notice. Should I charge double? But I didn't really didn't feel like getting dressed up or anything. So I decided just not to go. And I ignored um, the voicemail. So he ended up texting me that morning. He called me beautiful. Da, da, da. And um, he ended up sending me um, a picture of us on a roller coaster at Six Flags that he took. Creepy, right? Um, but he took a picture of the picture. You guys know the pictures that printed out. And then, he, yeah, he took a picture. And then he said, to, he's like, I had so much fun that day. Da, da, da. And um, I really feel like there's a genuine connection between us, all this, all this, okay? Yeah, I could see, I could see why you feel that way. You're with the kid, I understand. So I ended up just kind of uh, texting him back, like, yeah, you know, whatever. And he was like, do you want to meet up for dinner again? And he um, recommended um, on the border. <sighs> I was like, yeah. But of course I'm charging a fee. So, you know, you know, I brought up the me fee again and he was like, Oh man, really? And he was saying how he haven't got paid yet and da, da, da. and then this just feels too transactional. He might as well go to get an escort. And I said, Yeah, you might as well go do that. That's fine with me, you know. I don't like it just seemed like so many games, like so many games, like and that's why I tell girls, don't do um there's different ways to receive allowances. One of them is called pay per meet. I wouldn't recommend it. It's it's very transactional. It's very like it's just basically getting a meat fee every time you meet. It's it's a mess because the meat fee is only for us to ensure that he's a sugar daddy. Come on now, real sugar babies in the comments, y'all know what I'm talking about, right? Me, we're not charging meat fees every time we meet our sugar daddies. We're charging meat fees for guys who we don't even know if they are sugar daddies, like or if they just want to just waste our time. So. Nevertheless, I told him about the meeting. He was like, you know what? Fine. That's fine. Yeah, I just want to see you or whatever. He sounded kind of hostile, but I was like, I'll go. I'll go. So I ended up going. Um, and this time, and I didn't even bring this up to you guys. When he gave me the um me fee, when he insisted on giving the me fee for the coffee date, it was an envelope. Okay. When he gave me the I told you guys at six flights when he gave me the me fee, it was crumbled up. 
This time when he gave me the Mifi, it was crumbled up. Like crumbled, like, like crumbled up like this. Like crumbled up money, like in a ball where I literally had to like, okay, 20, 40. You know what I'm saying? Like that. So it was crumpled up. And I'm like, okay. So this time I asked him, I'm like, what's up with you crumbling up the money or whatever? And he's like, yeah, I, I just don't want this to be transactional. I, I just know how you roll. Okay. He's, he's like, I know how you, I know how you roll. And he was getting super defensive and super annoying. And I was just like, I'm not used to this with you. Um, and I didn't even give him a fake name, but that's tens of, what I do is story times. I just be rambling on. I don't really give him names, but anyway, he was like, um, I'm just not about to do this with you. I, I, you know, it's fine, whatever. And I'm like, Okay, well, you wanted to see me, and you know, I and I told you we can set up an allowance so it doesn't feel like you're paying me every time we see each other, but it is what it is, you know what I'm saying? So, um, he was like, No, don't worry about it because I know this, I'm not, I'm still not getting nothing. I remember these words, like, he was like, I know I'm still not getting nothing out of this. He's like, I know that you genuinely don't want to be here, and I know that you're not going to give me anything. And I kept saying, What do you mean by give you anything? Like, what do you mean? Do you mean that I'm obligated to, um, do something with you in the bedroom because you're giving me money like what does that even mean you know and he was like no i'm just saying like i could have been had something if i would have just chose a different girl and mind you guys like we were holding hands at six flags like i mean do guys feel do i i mean do guys watch my videos do you guys feel obligated for a girl to give you something physical up because we don't want my videos to be demonetized like my other ones because you gave her money because then that would make her an escort and there's nothing wrong with that but it just makes me wonder the d -d 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 double standards that be going around here but whatever to each his own so he was just going off or whatever order my tortilla soup and he kind of calmed down and it kind of was still a good date it was like cool after he's you know finished traveling or whatever and then he said um, and he texts me this quote, y'all, and I hope I get it right. And if not, I'm going to have to Google it. But it's like, if the fox, wait, I'm going to probably have to Google it. Hold on. Quote after the dinner. And it's like, if you forgive a fox for stealing your chicken, then he'll take your sheep. Now, I'm the type of person, I'm not going to lie, y'all. I get creeped out so easily. So I didn't even get what he was saying or whatever. I had to like Google what that even meant. Um, but I was like, oh, okay, well, I guess. So yeah, two days later, I go to the gas station and um, I tried to use, so I, you know, I have all the money that he gave me in an envelope, um, all the crumpled up money and the, the straight bills or whatever, you know, I've been using them. They were together, the straight bills that he gave me in the envelope and the crumpled up ones, they were all together. So, you know, I was just pulling them out, pulling them out, whatever, spending them. And I went to the gas station and I was like, oh, can I get 30 on pump seven? And um, the lady at the, the cash register, the lady at the cash register, she started like holding my money up, like $10, $20 up. I was just like, so this, this is this is what happens with cute people. We can't even go to the gas station. We can't even go to the gas station without people mad at our beauty. That's how I felt, right? No, not true. The gag is, um, hands me up the money bag and she's like, this is, Counterfeit. 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 And I'm like, it's what? She's like, yeah, these bills are counterfeit. I'm like, wait, what? She even took out the black marker and then like did it and it was like discoloration. And I was just like, I was just like, are y'all seeing this? This is like, is this really happening? So, you know, I started looking at all the crumble bills and I actually went to my sister's house and I'm like, look at this. Look at this counterfeit money that I was given to by the Italian mob. And she was just like, what the hell? And she was like, you couldn't, you couldn't tell that this was counterfeit. And I'm like, well, I mean, it was all crumpled up. Like I couldn't tell or whatever. Um, and yeah. Y'all, I didn't read, like, yeah, it was counterfeit. Like, all the, even the time that he bought, like, can I, can I just be clear with you guys that literally the majority of the money he gave me was counterfeit. Even some of the crisp bills he gave me were counterfeit. Yeah. 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 Your girl was finesse. He didn't finesse the finesser. Um, I didn't reach out to him on, because, and I didn't, like, report him or anything like that because, 
first off i didn't know his real name he didn't know my real name um that's a given and also i'm just not the type to like try to seek revenge revenge is just ghetto to me revenge is poor i don't really dwell over stuff like that so i didn't it was i it, this is the game we play i took my l in peace you know in peace and quiet um are you gonna take some losses when you're out here and that was one of them and, and you know what i'm not gonna i could say that now but back when i was uh really upset you guys like i was just like 100 200 300. All of this is fake. All of this time wasted with him. I spent for free, which I always try to avoid spending time with anybody for free. And look it, I ended up spending time for free. And not only that, he really got me out here looking stupid, spending counterfeit money, then get caught up. And, you know, then he texts me that quote. And he's like, you know, if you let it, I don't, I don't remember. Whatever quote I said, he said, that's what he said. Um, And then he sent that quote and it's like, yeah. <laughs> he got one he knew what he was getting he knew that he was getting over on me so and that's another thing ladies just think about it if you would have gave something up or i would have gave something up to him or whatever just to have counterfeit money these men can't be trusted they can't i mean not all of them but yeah i charge a fee then end up getting not a fee in the grand scheme of things i was dating for free Ooh, child, the gag. Anyway, that's my story time. If you liked it, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Go ahead and comment, like, subscribe, hit the notification bell below. And it's lit and I'm out. And bye, la, la, I think I said everything right. If I didn't, then I'm out. But oh, don't forget to follow me on social media, codename Chanel. And um, join my Patreon if you need finesse tips, how not to get counterfeit money. Ooh, and I'm out. And I'm out.